What I've got here is a, a nice little practice routine um, that you can do with the rest. So the way I'm going to set this up, I've, I've got three reds here that I've just lined up with a pink spot. And then this, this um, fourth red from the cushion is the one I start with. So I just pop the other three away. And then I just pop the other reds, five in total, in a line like that. They're about a centimeter apart. And then I'll repeat that on the other side of the table. So do exactly the same. So just uh, three reds there again, in line with a pink, and a fourth red, and then just line those five reds up centimetre apart. Now I'm going to place my cue ball sort of on between the middle pockets each time. And you should find that that gives you a comfortable rest shot. For junior players, you, you may need to sit or bring this white ball back a bit so you're not stretching. And if you're, I suppose if you're, if you're very tall, you could argue you might be able to reach that. I, I think you'd have to be nearly seven foot probably to get to that. I could be wrong. But anyway, so place the cue ball. As I say, it, it, if you, in, the, in um, this uh, bottom half of the table. Now, I'm lining up straight pots. So I just want to be practicing the straight pot in. I'm going to play them as a stun shot, but you, you could play them as a plain ball if, if, if that feels better. But my reasoning for playing a stun shot in a game, I'm going to stun it probably for the black. So, so that's what I'm going to do, and I make this part of my sort of training set, which some of you may have watched um, on the channel. It's quite a long watch, mine, because um, I think my training set takes me usually about an hour, hour and ten, hour and fifteen minutes, something like that, to go through. Because there's ten routines, of which this is one of them. Now, again, with rest play, there's little. Um, basic things that you've got to do first of all make sure that you when you, you are in the setup position that you can see all of the um, the cue ball because um, if you can't that means your rest is too close now I always think it's just a square position so make sure your hands are together like this and the starting point um, if you don't do that is a danger if you're holding the end of the rest the rest tend to all be different sizes lengths because Obviously, they get broken, so they get short, and then they get replaced, and they get longer again. <laughs> so, um, a bit like trigger's broom, I guess. Now, um, so make sure, as I said, you're in a nice square position, so your head's in a good position. And as I say, once you have dropped down here, make sure you can see all of the cue ball. So, you really, your wrist head's going to be sort of similar position where you would put your bridge, normal bridge. Um, another little key thing about rest play. Is, um, is to make sure that this elbow is not resting on the table. So you don't want this over on here. You want it just off the table. You know, a horizontal, I guess, around the horizontal, or maybe, you know, a little bit higher again. It depends on what suits you. And then just like everything, just try and make a good strike on the ball. That That's the key. Just um, and and the, what gives you the best chance of that is is uh, I hate to say it, it's just hard graft practice. The more you practice something, the more natural it becomes, more instinctive it becomes. So that's that's really it. Then you just got to practice. And um, I'm I will practice for the rest at least a couple of times a week. Um, I say it's part of my training set. And you'll find the best um, rest players tend to move the cue nicely, um, where the, the, the not so good ones, even some of the pros, you see it, it's a little bit pokey, a little bit stabby. Um, but the best rest players get that cue moving to try and sort of find that timing. Now, the, there's one thing I've noticed that's different between a rest play and a normal play when it comes to the feathering is I tend to feather a little bit longer with the rest. I don't know why, it just feels feels right. Um, you know, it seems to just feel nicer, just not go at the ball too quick. Oh, that one I didn't knit well. Um, I think it. I think it's been said by some of the people on uh, YouTube. Um, I'm thinking of Michael Alt here, where he says, you know, just just play the shot when you're ready. 
um, and if that differs a little bit each time it, it's fine we're human so we just um we've got to go with how we feel so for me it just feels a little bit better just to feather a little bit longer that's better so you'll notice um that i've gone from side to side and i've worked from the harder shots to the what are probably the easier pots no particular reason for that it's just the way i i did it when i first started and i'm a bit um i'm a little bit autistic so i like routine so i don't like to change something but um you can do it whichever way you want basically what you've got to try and do is try and pop as many of the reds as you can so those tend to pop and my average on this i think is a, is eight so a bit of pressure on this one so it's going to be another greatest fails day could do so this is to get above the average so I try and get a nine so just try and hit it good Hey, that's it.